So it's that time of year that's actually starting to get kind of chilly at night, not so much in the day. I think most of us would prefer it to be time for sweaters already. Um, but it does mean that rattlesnakes are changing their behavior. They are acting differently and we are near the end of our snake season. So I know that some of the uh, pedantic snake nerds are going to get upset when I use words like hibernation and snake season because yes, you can see snakes any time of year in certain conditions. But there is a real sharp decrease in surface activity um, and that is reflected in our observations and our activity on the rattlesnake removal hotline. So every year, if I'm using the, the activity on the hotline as our data source for when snakes are no longer active on the surface, the second week of November is when we typically see a very sharp decline in the number and nature of these calls. So by then, by about the second week of November, I would say, uh, as usual, that you should have a much lower chance of seeing a rattlesnake on a trail or in the backyard. So go ahead and fire up the barbecue and do what you're going to do. Posting lots of photos and videos of snakes that we're catching. A lot of those are backlog. We catch quite a few snakes every day. So if I were to post that on our, our social media feeds, uh, you would get sick of it. So a lot of that, we space it out. So you're gonna see a lot of those. Um, but also we will be catching snakes probably every day, every other day, even in the dead of winter. But the nature of those calls is gonna be very different. Those are gonna be snakes that were found inside garages, under sheds, uh, or dug up, something that interrupted their winter activity of hiding away and suddenly they're on the surface. So it's not quite the same as one that's cruising through a backyard, but it is still a snake encounter. Uh, and there's a, there's a real important distinction there that if you see one of those that we catch a snake, a snake in a garage um, in December, it doesn't mean everybody's wrong, their snakes are still out cruising around. It means that there was a snake that was sleeping there and somebody moved a bag with a Christmas tree in it and um, there was a snake there. So a few things that you should watch out for during the holiday season, especially while you're getting out decorations. Hopefully those Christmas decorations aren't up quite yet. I mean, we just had Halloween, but if you are doing that kind of thing, then watch out because that box with that fake tree in it and all those ornaments um, hasn't been touched since you put it away in uh, January or whenever you're gonna do that. So that's where snakes tend to want to hide or in those tucked away places. Um, every year we get a number of calls for rattlesnakes being found in those situations. Um, be especially wary too if you are doing any type of landscaping or construction, taking advantage of the cooler temperatures for areas where there's a lot of rock, uh, especially set out for erosion control where those rock layers are multiple rocks deep. The snakes are trying to get out of the cold uh, and preserve moisture. So anything that can do that is gonna be useful to them. That might include your garage, any sheds or any buildings that are not used that might have rodent problems, and firewood piles. I know that I'm gonna be digging into mine as soon as the temperatures get cool enough. Um, if you're relying on firewood to heat your home um, or just for entertainment, um, be careful that that firewood pile that's been sitting there on the ground all year isn't home to a winter rattlesnake. So you can expect this to last until around the end of February. Starting in January, rattlesnakes will start to come out on the surface a little more often, but they're still gonna be hanging around their dens. So if you do see a rattlesnake at your house in January or February, it's almost certain that that snake actually denned at your place or very near. So we'll wanna check to make sure that there's not any others around. But if you're a hiker, and you haven't seen any snakes around your place and you're pretty sure there's not a rattlesnake den at your house, you should be good to go until around early March. And that's when they all wake up and start moving around and we start another year. So have a good holiday season. If you don't need to call us for any rattlesnakes, um, I think we're both fine with that. I think the snakes are ready for a rest. Uh, I think we are as well. So I'll see you around.